Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aviero is a Portuguese professional footballer, often considered the best player in the world and regarded by many as one of the greatest players of all time. And while much of that is down to his dedication on the training ground, his diet has also proven to be a massive factor in not only ensuring that he performs at his best, but also that he stays in impeccable shape. And his latest medical results for Juventus actually reveal that he has only 7% body fat and 50% muscle mass, which is one of the best for any footballer in the world. Apparently Ronaldo claims that one of his secrets is to eat regularly and has confessed that he can eat up to six small meals a day with also having been quoted saying that he avoids things that are bad for him and instead focused on eating simple whole foods. So I'm all about getting to 7% body fat with 50% muscle mass and performing at my best. So today I'm going to eat like one of if not the best players on the planet Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aviero. So if you haven't already hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let's get going. What is up family, welcome back to a new video and you read the title of the video. Today we are gonna go a full day of eating like the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo. Now I'm gonna openly admit to being an absolute fanboy. I really do like Cristiano Ronaldo. Him and David Beckham, you can see, we literally bought. Those are super OG jerseys and we even have like the Portugal. This one here is like back to the first year he ever signed up. Another sort of recent one and another sort of OG one. So yeah, I am a little bit of a fanboy of Cristiano Ronaldo. So I thought, why not try and eat like quite possibly one of, if not the greatest players to place foot on this planet. Him, Maradona, Pele, Messi, all of them, Cantona, were absolute legends. So of course, as with any athlete, and Cristiano Ronaldo included training plays an integral role in their lifestyle. Of course, it's pretty much their job. So that is exactly how we started off today. We did go to the gym to train. Flashback. What is up, family? I am in a very good mood today. Woo! I don't know, comment down below if you're the same, but whenever I get a good workout, you know, it's a good start today. Puts me in a good mood, but we just finished smashing our chest and back. Full workout will be up there. We hit some PRs. Again, training is going super, super well. And you know what? Let me know down below. But I think I'm going to start bringing back the vlog because this challenge really isn't too difficult. It is a little bit weird in some places. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. So this is going to be more like a full day of eating or like the OG Permabulk uh, series. Flashback. So we are calling this series the perma bulk so with any vlog I'll do or perma bulk I'll put like a physique update so hopefully that'll be running on the screen now but again we are making some hella lean gains as far as weight goes you know we dropped down to like 74 75 well we're maintaining 76 so I might have to increase the calories just a little bit but you know what strength is going through the roof you know we're doing like a mix between volume and intensity training much like the hyper bulk link will be down below if you want to hop on the old lean gain train or even the hyper shred program if you want to get shredded for summer but yeah training is going very well so without further ado let's get this full day of eating like cristiano ronaldo and the perma bulk video rolling and you might be asking what does cristiano ronaldo have for breakfast even though it's like one o'clock we're still gonna call this breakfast well according to the sun and you can see from the picture a typical morning meal would actually include a selection of ham and cheeses croissants toast with avocado yogurt and an array of fruits so the fridge is actually pretty empty so you know what scott <laughs> What do you want now, Scott? I'm driving. Can you not see that? I know, I'm sorry, but I have work to do, so can you stop off on the way home from the gym and pick me up a few ingredients? I mean, I guess for the YouTubes, we can take a little stop off at the motherland, so what do you need? Uh, pretty much everything, to be honest. So I need, like, toast, fruit, yogurts, croissants, ham and cheese. Okay, so here we go. Fruit-wise, I know you do like your strawberries, so... Thank you. And why not, for a bit more volume, let's get you a juicy melon. Thank you, you really do know me well, I do love melons. And then here we go, your favorite cheese, some Emmental, and then some ham. Beautiful, again, good choice. And then some of your favorite toffee fat-free yogurt. Thank you, by far the best flavor. Some low calorie bread for the ham and cheese. Good choice, Scotty, only 58 calories per slice. I mean, after all, I don't want to get too big. And a beautiful all butter croissant. Oh baby, Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm glad to see you follow if it fits your macros. This is by far the best part of your whole breakfast. Okay, so here we go. The only thing I didn't actually pick up was the avocado, just because I hate avocado. So we're pretty much just gonna have like a few slices of bread with like ham and cheese on top, like a fruit and yogurt, like junk bowl, and then of course the croissant, so. 
There you have it, family. Four cheese and ham toasties a croissant. This is actually going to be a pretty good breakfast, but I need to get a thumbnail first, so I'm going to try to do that quickly before it cools down. Okay, so as with any thumbnail, that took about 10 minutes, so this is slightly cooler than I want it to be. But nonetheless, here we go. So we have our toasties. We have like one slice of ham and one slice of cheese on each side, and the plan of action now is just to make like a sandwich, like boop, like that. So here we go. Let's give you a taste of Mmm. Man, Emmental. If you're an OG, you'll know that Emmental is like by far my favorite cheese. I had it in like one of my OG cheat day videos. So yeah, this is definitely very good. Mm. So the plan of action is just to have that and those two Sambos for those. And then for this, well, the plan of action is just to pour all of this on top. Woo! Give it a nice little bit of a mix. So here we go, let's give you a taste test. Actually, woo, comment below. What's your favorite fruit? Cantaloupe and strawberry by far for me. Two pretty high volume, sweet ass fruits, huh? Mm. Oh man, that's so good. There's something about fruit. It's just like a perfect dessert. You know I like ice cream and all, but I mean, if you're stuck for something sweet on poverty macros, like a junk bowl with some low fat yogurt, some fruit, that could pretty much do you. Simple, it's low calorie, and it's super healthy, so. Mm. So that is gonna be the yogurt, and then this bad boy, this is just a croissant, and you know what, as this is the YouTube, let's go for a... Oh man. So buttery. That's right. So that, <laughs> sorry. So that's gonna be breakfast, bring it upstairs, get banging out a bit of work and check back in and do a meal too. Actually, oh, macros for that meal will be up there. Again, I did weigh everything out, so I'll probably do that. But yeah, that is gonna be the next meal. See you all in the next meal. Okay, so here we go again. It's been roughly like two, two and a half hours. Pretty hungry, to be honest. That didn't really fill me up too much. So we're gonna have a little bit of a snack. And what does Cristiano Ronaldo have as a snack? Well, oh God, you can probably see from the picture. And as per the sun, again, his snacks don't actually appear to be so extravagant. And he'll often just take a sardine and simply have it on a slice of bread. So, I mean, I have some bread, but Scott! <sighs> What do you want? I already got you your breakfast. I know, but apparently now I have to eat some sardines. So can you go back and check if they have them? Looks like you're out of luck. All they have is kippers, some white tuna fillets, some mackerel. I don't see any sardines here, so you're gonna have to go somewhere else, Scotty. Okay, well, I wasn't planning on going out, but I mean, I guess for the YouTubes, you know what that means. It means stopping off to the motherland. <laughs> Numero tre, done stores where you can see we have sardines on deck. So we have ones in brine, then we have ones in sunflower oil or olive oil. So, you know, we're keeping it lean here, so I think we're gonna pick up some of the brine ones. But as this is a vlog, we cannot miss the opportunity to check out the ice cream aisle. Oh Oh my god, Halo Top stocked up 4 euro 50, that's pretty good, and chocolate chip in full stock, so I think I'm also going to pick up a good few of these. So it's safe to say that we definitely do have an addiction, shout out to Halo Top, but unfortunately we can't have any of this because we know Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't eat any sweet stuff, he is a very disciplined individual. <laughs> So that unfortunately means that these bad boys are going back in the freezer because the next meal is all about these bad boys. Now, I'm not a big sardine fan, to be honest, but the article did say that he takes one sardine and just puts it on one slice of bread. So I think that's sort of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like wrap one sardine in one slice of bread, bring it back upstairs, get a little bit of work done and jump straight back into lunch because what? It's like pretty much already five o'clock. So we need to get another meal before our next meal, which is gonna be dinner. So yeah, that is that. Let's get this down in one piece. Oh my God. That looks absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's literally one whole sardine on one slice of bread. But yeah, let's wrap this bad boy up like so. It's almost like a little sardine hot dog. So here we go, let's get this down. Mm. Man. It's fucking disgusting. Mm. Are you okay there? <laughs> Sorry, the mother is dying. Oh my god. Here we go, last bite. Mm. 
I don't think I've had those for a while. It's super, super fishy. Oh. So there we go, one sardine, hot dog, then macros with a meal will be up there. But like I said, let's get straight into lunch. And what does Cristiano Ronaldo have for lunch? Well, according to the sun, again, for lunch, he'll devour a type of fish dish. So his favorite is believed to be called bacalao a brass, which is a plate comprised of cod, onions, potatoes, and scramble eggs. So we have our onion, we have our potatoes, we have our eggs, but you know what we don't have? We don't have some cod, so it's COD! Jesus Christ, not again, surely not another meal. Yeah, we're a little bit late, but apparently it's lunchtime and I have to eat some cod, so get your ass back to Little and pick up some fish. Okay, so here we go, some cod fillets for you. Hopefully they're up to Cristiano Ronaldo's standards. Thank you very much. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this is going to be lunch. And I think I'll just use the microwave, probably the quickest way to cook everything. So we have two big ass white potatoes, the fillets of cod, the onion, then we're going to do two whole eggs and one egg white and just put it all into a bowl. So three, two, one. There we go. The microwave worked wonders. So we have the separate ingredients. We have the eggs, we have the cod, we have our onions and our potatoes. So without further ado, there we go, family. Bacalao a brat a la Cristiano Ronaldo. And we did add some tomatoes because I will put a picture on the screen of him actually eating this meal. I think he posted it on Instagram. He does like a selfie. So I tried to do somewhat similar. So I'll pretty much put the two pictures side by side. Do they resemble each other? I hope so. But nonetheless, this is going to be lunch. Again, macros for the whole meal will be up there in the right hand corner. And of course, we have to top it with some Frank's red hot sauce. It looks pretty good. It worked out quite well to be honest the microwave did very very well you know you can scramble the eggs you can boil the potatoes and then for the fish you just put like a lid on top pop it in the microwave and all of it is pretty much done in like 10 15 minutes so yeah this is going to be lunch it's a hefty bowl but again i'll bring it upstairs i have a lot of work to do again it's like half past five but nonetheless let's give you a taste test a bit of everything we have some potato we have some tomato we have an onion we have the egg we have the bacalao or the cod so here we go cheers mm. That is quality, guys. Oh my days. <laughs> Man, I might even have this more often. It's a pretty good combo, Cristiano Ronaldo. No wonder they have it. Mm. The eggs, I think, I think it's the eggs. I mean, I love eggs, so eggs with anything. I haven't had cod for a while, but yeah, it's pretty good. Try it out. Mm. So that is gonna be lunch. Again, go upstairs, bang it out the way with a bit of work, and then check back in with you at dinner, so. Mm. Okay, so here we go. These are my like working headphones. I like to listen to music or I'll use them for client check-ins, but it's pretty much dinner and you've seen how boring my life has been. I've just been sitting here apart from recording this video, which is actually taking far longer than it has to be. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, but it's dinner time. So what does Cristiano Ronaldo have for dinner? Well, again, there are a few options, but according to the sun, apart from his favorite dish, which is that bacalao at restaurants, Ronaldo often says that he orders steaks and salads. So, you know, Know what I don't have a steak I don't have a salad but I have a potato but again that's not really an issue because Scott what now I'm halfway down the f***ing road Scott just to let you know my parents are in the other room and they think I'm literally just an absolute freak which I guess I am but anyway let's go back to the video hey Scott we do need to pick up a salad and a steak so can you get those for me okay so here we go we have this family salad bowl this should do you that will do perfectly fine thank you and then last but not least a juicy round steak hella lean for the lean gains perfect the leaner the better so again this is going to be dinner pretty basic meal i know he said he has up to six meals per day we're probably not going to get six because we're running a little bit behind but i'll definitely get five so this will be dinner again i'll cook this up and just serve it with the side salad so Okay, and there you go. It literally took like two or three minutes to cook. And this is all he has. Again, I'll put up a picture. He took a selfie of him in a restaurant and all there is is like a salad and a steak. And I tried to reenact that. So again, hopefully there's some similarity, but here we go. And of course, we are going for some sriracha this time for the salad because I don't really like dressing, but this, this stuff is like life. <laughs> so firstly, let's see how I cooked the steak last time you were calling, oh baby. Last time you were calling me out that I cooked it too much and this time we're doing well fam. You can see we got some nice red action going on there. So here we go, cheers. Mm. Oh, it's far better. 
definitely better than the last time. I butchered it last time, but this, this is how I like my steak. Mm. Get a bit of salad for that hashtag health. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> and you know what? We'll put a little bit of sriracha on the steak with a bit of salad. Mm. Oh. I'm telling you, that is far better than the first time. But anyway, macros for this meal will be up there in the right-hand corner. Again, I said I'm not gonna probably get six meals, but this is gonna be the fourth, and I do have a plan in store. So stay tuned for the next meal. Here we go, one take kid, checking in, sitting in the car. It's quite a late one today, actually. It's still a beautiful evening, not too cold, but anyway, here we go. So you know my nighttime meal is my treat time, where I get my sweet kick for the day. But Cristiano Ronaldo is a very disciplined individual, so even with a freezer full of new Halo Top, I couldn't have any of that. So, what I decided to do was just replicate his breakfast. We had, we picked up a whole tub of the Skyer strawberry yogurt with some strawberry, so again, pretty sweet. And then we went for another baguette. <laughs> God, no, not a baguette, a croissant uh, popped in the microwave. It had gone a little bit stale just from sitting in the house all day. And that is how we finished off the full day of eating. Like Cristiano Ronaldo, it was pretty good. Not too bad, the sardines were a bit dodgy, but that's obviously what you have to eat to get a shredded physique like Mr. CR7. And you know what? It is the next day and I am absolutely fucked. I don't know if you can tell, but we trained legs today. And I was actually feeling very, very good. And usually when I do so, I just go completely YOLO. And I like to work up to a top set. So I'll probably put the actual notes picture on the screen now, but we got to a top set of lunges. 52 reps with the 35 kilo dumbbells. And I'm telling you, Oh my god. After that set, I tried to go on, but each set I did afterwards was like, no, this is like a one-way trip to Rabdo. So I cut it short, short and intense, but overall a pretty good workout now. But nonetheless, I think I'm going to end up the video here. So let's go into the macros and the weigh-in. Again, I'll put my uh, my fitness pal thing on the screen, but we had a lot of food items in there. Uh, it was actually quite a low calorie day, 3,200, I think, and it was like 279 grams of protein, pretty high protein, 280 carbs and 101 fat so again that is something you will never see on any other channel we had Donald Trump's my fitness pal diary and now we have Cristiano Ronaldo's I bet people would literally pay millions for that but nonetheless the weigh-in as expected we did lose weight yesterday not only with the low calories but the low carbs and the glycogen we were nearly half a kilo down at 75.7 and 8% body fat so yeah definitely feeling far more like depleted I'm used to having like 650 700 grams of carbs on a normal day but that is that again if you like this challenge sort of vlog style let me know and if you want a proper like perma bulk vlog series to return like literally where I take you on like multiple days or even like a week worth of like meals my lifestyle just whenever something interesting happens then comment down below if not then I'll just continue with like the informative videos and the food challenges so that is the end of the video if you haven't already hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hope you all have a good day see you all in the next video Boop.